Hey, this is Rohit with SolidWise, here with another SolidWorks tip for you guys. This one's going to be on saving the settings within SolidWorks. And if you like what you see here, we have hundreds of tutorials at SolidWise.com. Just browse on over after you watch this video and check us out. If you customize the interface at all in SolidWorks, including the settings, as well as any of the shortcuts and toolbars, you're going to want to save your settings at some point. And the reason for this is that the settings file is stored along with the registry key for SOLIDWORKS. And if I take a look at that, we can see it's all stored in this single folder under SOLIDWORKS in the HKEY current user under software. And most of what this contains is the settings for SOLIDWORKS. But what can happen from time to time, and if you've used SOLIDWORKS for any length of time, this has probably happened to you, is that SOLIDWORKS will start crashing inexplicably. You'll be working on a certain part, and a certain procedure will cause SOLIDWORKS to crash. Typically, this is indicative of a corrupted registry file. And the solution for that problem is resetting that registry key, which replaces the entire file and starts you from scratch. So in that process, you're going to lose any settings that you've customized or any toolbars that you've customized. So periodically, it's a good idea to come into the programs, come into your SOLIDWORKS folder, and within the SOLIDWORKS tools is the copy settings wizard. You see there's two options, one to save settings and one to restore settings. So once you have a saved out copy, if you do end up wanting to go back and go back to an earlier set of settings, you can restore those. Or if you have to reset the registry key, you can come back in here and restore the settings. This by default will save this out to the documents as SW settings, which isn't terribly descriptive. I like to go ahead and add a date. That way you know what your most current settings are or what settings you want to go back to. Now you have these options of saving the keyboard shortcuts, the menus, the system options, as well as the toolbar layout. And you can uncheck any of these if you want as well, if you only want to save certain settings. Once you do that, it saves it out to whatever folder you chose. And once again, I can come back in and restore my settings if I want. And typically, you'll want to do this with SOLIDWORKS closed so you don't run into any issues. So keep that in mind and save your settings periodically. You'll be happy that you did.